Hello and welcome to RA Place Factorial C Block. Uh, this is episode 155. And last episode we built a small power setup to um, make sure that these guys get uh, all of the power shenanigans. Um, so, but actually what we wa also want to do probably is to increase our methanol inputs. The methanol is actually fed somewhere yeah, down here. So what we want to be doing is yeah, these guys, why are you so, yeah, you're limited by this, you're limited by the fish oil. Yeah, that's in here and uh, oh, that tank is actually full. So is this the problem? Oh, the thermal water is the problem. Yeah. So let's see. I think for those, we also needed uh, the advanced circuits. Let's see. Thermal. Yeah. Now that was another reason why we needed the processing units and the advanced uh, stuff. Oh, that might actually be kind of relevant. Yeah. Let's, let's maybe look into... The, let's then look into the reinforced concrete first but like we should have a decent amount of blue chips by now so we could actually upgrade these guys to uh, to that and uh, let's see reinforced concrete we're making it from concrete steel plate stone brick oh that's actually quite easy um we just need to like squeeze it in this weird setup right we have concrete over here yes okay so actually gonna going to squeeze that in is going to be a little bit tricky let's see can we move you somewhere we can move this guy right this has input from uh, from him okay um i guess what we can do is because you need only bricks and concrete yeah, we're gonna move you over oh. We have a bunch of concrete apparently. Uh, let's just move that over here then. Uh, yep, you guys get to join them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, more research should be done. Yeah, we're, we're research wise, we're fairly close to the next level, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, bricks and we're gonna need those for both right uh, concrete yeah and and steel we need just for the reinforced concrete so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little belt and we're gonna do uh, one nope actually we're gonna do it a little bit further even let's see uh, craft another one as well so uh, over here should be fine. Yeah. One, two. Then you guys are gonna run like this. And uh, we're gonna run some underground pipe over here. You're gonna make normal concrete. Yep. And then you're gonna make reinforced concrete yeah okay uh, power and then the only issue is that we actually do need to l limit chests now but that's fine because we can limit you and we can deposit all the concrete in there we have plenty uh, let's see concrete do we have more oh, we didn't actually grab it okay um there we go so like this should be fine then we have another chest over here maybe okay let's put them over here then and you're also, let's see, we're gonna limit you to three stacks as well. And you're in addition to stone brick, which we're gonna get from here. 
you. Both of you get to drop over there. Yep. Uh, power that. Um, and then let's see, you get another input chest. Uh, like this. And like this. And we're gonna dump some steel in there. And then you need just cement, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay, that should uh, should do the trick. Like it might build a little bit in here still, but other than that, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna give. Oh no, it's actually gonna be fine. Okay, that's that's good eats. Uh, so let's go up north and grab some uh, some blue chips. Oh, this is kind of backlogged. Probably because of the uranium. Yeah, looks like it is. Yeah, okay, my bad. Uh, but I think we had a warehouse. Mm, there's a flare attack. Warehouse. There we go. Warehouse. Okay, for the uranium. There we go. Uh, you get to drop here. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Like, meh. It could be, we could have done this a little bit more efficiently, but for now, this is, uh, this is gonna be okay. Uh, yeah, this is just gonna move up fairly quickly again, and then we should be okay. Um, the yeah, it's it's gonna yeah, this is has dried up a little, so that actually means that it it didn't cause too much problems for the plastic. Probably, let's let's yeah, it's probably the wait, what's the other. Uh, I guess one of these is plastic or not. Yeah, plastic and then copper. So copper was really the problem, though we did have that backlog for a bit. So it might have been the plastic that's been bottlenecking the science. And we might have uh, had enough science in the backlog, actually. So, so as that, it wouldn't be a problem. But only one way to find out. Uh, let's grab some of you guys. Yeah, that should be useful. Yeah, we actually had plenty of blue science in the backlog, so it's still running. Though it's fairly close to being sort of shut down. Uh, this, on the other hand, did not have that much. Let's see. 16 processing units. Yeah, so for a thermal water bore. How many does it take? Four. Okay, so we can we can make two of these probably, and that, that should be fine. And then we want to be looking into uh, the the better crystallizers as well. But those probably take they take more crystallizers. They have five processing units. Uh, they actually take a decent amount of reinforced concrete. That's that's something to keep in mind. I guess we can grab a little bit of cement from uh, and steel. To make sure we have plenty of reinforced concrete later. And then we should be good. Let's see. Power power wise, how are we doing? Let's let's check this out. Okay, so what we're seeing is yeah, so the steam engines are helping us through the night, right? But just just through the night and then um yeah, basically, you're consuming. Yeah, basically at this point, right? So, so they charge the, they charge them back up, and then sort of the the steam engines from the oil just get to run through all the all the night. So that's that's good. That means we we are using the oil, which means we we are getting the most out of our natural gas. Um, yeah, so let's grab some steel. Yeah, two stacks should be nice. Uh, you go in this warehouse. Um, we're gonna bring some copper for you guys. One, two, three, four. There we go. Um, we should be grabbing some cement from somewhere. From the oh, we didn't configure this. Okay, let's do that then. 
okay, we could be making it more efficiently, but I don't really care. This is fine. Uh, oh, and this is all backlogged. That's pretty nice. But the glass is backlogged. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Also, the tin is backlogged, but I guess that doesn't matter if. Yeah, that's that's okay then. But I guess we okay. So maybe we should be offsetting you to this side, and that's gonna mean that this guy really has priority. Eh, we we I don't know if this works this way. It might actually cause the other side of the belt to to saturate. If we use the filter inserter to put them all on the close side, then it might work out. But I don't know. Um, yeah. So we grabbed some stuff for cement. So le let's bring that down for the reinforced concrete. Uh, let's see some. Oh, we didn't actually have more cement, but we did have more steel. Let's see, how are you doing? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, we should ha need more cement though. So let's uh, let's see. We're gonna can't research you quite yet can we research let's see can we research the yellow one um not quite as well let's see okay let's get some more stuff for that then um yeah so this is gonna go quite hard but we're just gonna grab some of you okay that's i guess that's gonna be a little slow for for a bit but yeah, this is gonna help okay let's uh, at least start by crafting like two of those thermal oh. what do we else do we need to for that uh, a bunch of titanium uh, okay let's go grab uh, a couple plates do we have a i hope we have a, a chest for that that would be Excellent. Okay. Uh, thermal. Yeah. We could actually make a, a four if we wanted to. Let's just start with two. See how that lands. And then uh, we can figure it out. This is uh, it's going quite nicely actually. Oh, we should be. There's some backlogging going on actually. Interesting. We should probably upgrade this guy then. Should be, uh, yeah. We that that's the just like the small things that's gonna help help us be a little bit more efficient. Okay, so I think we have steam running somewhere, right? It's pretty close. Here. Yeah, we have steam over here. Oh, that's that's excellent. Yeah. Okay. So we did I make the water pours? Yeah. Thermal. Oh, geez, these are kind of big. Okay. Um, how are we gonna manage this? Um, so we're gonna need to input steam into them. Let's see. And that how? Let's check how uh, for the recipe. So thermal. Uh, thermal water. Okay, so we're gonna make this with steam and the lithia. Um, it's gonna get require two per five seconds. And these guys are gonna make how many per crafting speed two? Yeah, so it might might just be efficient to have some like have to some direct insertion then. Let's uh, let's see if that uh, we'll we'll just uh, build it over here then. Yeah, like uh, so. If we can do it like this, then we don't need to encroach on the existing stuff. So let's let's see if we can make this happen. Uh, guess we're gonna need some more pipe. And uh, let's see. We can get the steam. Yeah, we could we could like get the steam in here. And then do it like this, right? 
Steel furnace. We need more steel for that. Let's go grab some. I put all my steel into the concrete. Uh, let's see. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so... Yep. So we're gonna make a steel furnace. And we're gonna power this like over here. Yep, we're gonna do one, two, three. Okay, we'll need more inserters then. Yeah, there we go. Uh, steel furnace. Uh, we're gonna pop you over the configuration. Uh, run this a little bit further. Okay, and then. Uh, this okay so this should be okay then Let's see yeah okay so the only thing we need then is the steam so let's fill this up um, and then we'll bring that over like this and we're gonna just shortcut this for a bit And how are we on the... Yeah, we have some above ground. And we'll use some stone for the underground then. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. So the only mistake I made is that I should have probably spaced this out a little bit more. Uh, just in order to uh, make sure that we can place another one but that we could fix up. let's see um, yeah so uh, yeah, so now the problem is that oh, we're actually eating all of the yeah because this is let's see is this yeah it's it's this eats a lot more lithia as well, right? That makes sense, but um, yeah, but it's it's also more efficient, right? So we can clear this up. Clearly, we don't we really don't need this part anymore. I am gonna put some of the lithia salt just right in there. Particular, I'm gonna put all of the lithia salt in there, so that's that's gonna give us a nice supply. Um, yeah, we'll let you run out, but I don't think we'll, we'll need you any longer. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing is that we need to fix this up, and we have another one of these guys. So the problem is, yeah, this one is just a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move you over just a little bit. Like just let's see. So these guys we can clear up, right? Uh, this is a little bit dangerous. Yeah, let's do it like this. So we're gonna bring the first one gonna be over here okay uh, if I'm not standing in the way there we go uh, let's try that again so here we go uh, and yep so like this then we're gonna place the steel furnace so we're gonna go underground then steel furnace gets to go here We'll do it like this and copy config. Yep, that should be okay. Uh, just power it then. Okay. And then we'll have another one, but we'll need to sp or probably space this out a little bit. But this is gonna be okay, right? Yep, we're actually gonna eat some of that in here. And you are gonna be over. 
here. Like this. Um, but we'll have to pull this through and go like this. Yes. And then this is somewhat okay, but the problem is that we actually would need that to go a little bit down. Let's see. How, how is this supply wise? Like it might even need the two. Let's, let's set it up like this. So we're gonna go over here, right? Uh, this we can place a little bit further. Yep. Go like this. So this steam is actually pretty high priority, right? It should be. Like, yeah, these are actually, yeah, this is running full steam or full, full oil in this case. Um, but we're gonna run these guys and then like this. So here we go. this and we're gonna power that and not over there though like this yeah let's see how we're doing yeah we have we have thermal water again that's pretty nice and that means that this stuff is running again this stuff yeah, should basically yeah, should be running a little bit more and we should be getting some more liquid plastic out of this. So that's that's pretty nice. Let's let's check out how how this affected our plastic flow. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is looking pretty nice. We have we have some some decent plastic flow again. This it actually helps a lot, right? So this this means that we now um, have basically a somewhat consistent plastic flow again, and we could add in more um, more methanol to make this guy fire more often. That that's the the other thing we can still be doing. And uh, let's see how are these running. Yeah. Uh, we have some more though. We can we can put that in here. It might not actually be in enough if we don't have the backlog. Though yeah, so this is actually backlogging in the furnace now, so that's that's fine. Yeah, we could upgrade these to threes. Maybe do we even get fours? Maybe. Oh gee, no, we don't. Uh, three is the highest then. Yeah, we can easily make this. Okay, good stuff. And let's see. So this is no longer backing up. So that's good. So we could upgrade some of these, I guess. Right? Because the, the mineral sludge is probably still... Yeah, that's pretty full up. So we can look at, at uh, bringing some of these guys in. Uh, let's also check how, how our resource flow actually is. Yeah, so, oh, the, the, looks like the copper is pretty good, actually. Yeah, it could be a little bit better. We, yeah, we're we not running into any issues. Yeah, this is all pretty nice. Okay, let's, let's see how things are at the top. Let's see, this is all fine. Yeah, it might actually be that it was, was really stuck on plastic now. Why is so? These are 300. Jeez, this is. Oh, did. I think. Yeah, I just messed this up. Oh, yeah, I guess I accidentally pressed R instead of T. I guess that's why, uh, why I often mess up stuff like this. Yeah, so this is really. It's really uh, hinging on the plastic. Right. So. Uh, this stuff. Oh, this is actually hinging on the gold. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, if we look at, at this, then it's actually... These guys are fine. But the 
other thing we have, which is these guys. Oh yeah, these these are the the problem, which are which are uh, limited by the the red circuits, and the red circuits are limited by these guys, and these guys are limited by the transistors, and the transistors are limited by plastic. Yeah, so we should we should be doing a little bit more still. Like the the plastic is coming through now, but it can't really hurt to scale this up a little bit more. So I think we're also gonna do the methanol thing. Let's see, so we probably wanna be grabbing some steel then. And actually, yeah, we the, the gold is also interesting that that's a thing. We might wanna do like some advanced gold stuff maybe. Like we could do a thing where we again like move this over and thereby create a little bit or not really create space here but it it basically gives us a little bit more breathing room over here to do it more advanced stuff and uh, the trade-off there is that we're gonna get more usage of this belt but that's actually not that bad anyway so um yeah i'm gonna cut this episode here Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.